Hello my Bible Nation, S. Gibbs here for another exciting edition. It is not your den, it is not, not my den, but it is the Mad Den, a.k.a. The Laser Show. Show number 85. Some of you have asked, why have we not seen the Mad Den lately? I will show you why. Uh, we're getting a new kitchen here um, in my house, at, in the Mad Den. And uh, let me show you what the Mad Den looks like currently. We're all my... Stuff was before. Um, now is just a bunch of stuff all over the place. Um, so the Mad Den is just currently non-working, non-operational. We'll show you what it looks like in the kitchen. Um, yeah, we're getting a new kitchen. So uh, just just how it is. So we're making do with what we have, and uh, we're just we're just manning up here and doing the Mad Den um, live right now. So today, what we're going to talk about though is the blitz that took the entire Madden Bible tournament by storm, the Framingham Mass, sponsored by Underground Gaming Underground in Framingham, Massachusetts, this past weekend. T. Davis won, but uh, there was one blitz that was taking the tournament by storm by Tyler, uh, Pat's fan, Pat's rule on the uh, Madden Bible forums, and he was so kind to share with us. He also made his own video, but this video right here is to show you it's a one-man pressure from the 155. Um, and watch this blitz come in here, ladies and gentlemen. It comes in off the edge, one man rush. Yeah, it's that good. Look at that. Get into the quarterback, one man rush. Check out the coverage behind it here. There is really no one open. I mean, you go left, you go right, there's no one open. And um, what we're going to do is if uh, show you how to get that set up here it's, itself. Um, I like to come out in the 46 formation. And then from the 46 formation, I audible to the Storm Overstorm Brave from the 155. Uh, then from that move, what I do is I like to globally place all my linebackers in yellow zones. Next, I like to blitz my outside linebacker, which is Groves here. I hit R1, and then I flick the right stick one to the right, which global blitzes Groves. Um, next, what I do is I place Seymour on a spy. I take Moss or Wembley. doesn't really matter which one I grab, but I grab one of them. I place them on a contain drag them over to the right side of the screen and stack them right across from the right tackle. Um, next what I do is if I have time, if I don't have time to get my other hot routes in, I'll just drop back with route and play user coverage. Uh, but what I like to do is take Wembley, put him on a purple, take Howard, put him on a purple as well. And then I will drop back with uh, route. And you know, if you have time, drag Ranch over to the halfback. So then from here, off the line snaps and goes. As you can see, the contain drags the offensive line all the way to the left side of the field uh, while we sneak pressure in off the back side. So here you have it again. Uh, this is what it looks like. You'll see the offensive line gets confused. Pressure will come in. He, the tackle was able to scrape him a little bit, but pressure comes in. We have great coverage behind. So, um, you know, this is a great blitz. It's awesome, right? You can sneak it in every once in a while. Um, you know, some people might say, well, you can't really get it set up quick enough. It's it's not something that you can do. I mean, there you have it. I just set it up probably, what, five, six seconds. Um, here it is again. Pressure comes off the... Oh, I sent the contain from the wrong side. doesn't matter. The pressure is still good. Um, let me set that up one more time. I'm going to show you how to stop this blitz as well because a lot of guys, you know, I hear all the time, you know, Gibbs, you know, I can't stop the blitzes that you set up. It's not fair. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not legit. But, you know, guys, everything we do has a counter and everything we do can be picked up. So um, here's the pressure again coming in. So as you can see that time it didn't even work. Well pressure came off this off the edge. Um, you have to be very particular with where you put that contain. Um, so it coaxes that that right tackle. So here you have it again. Place him over there. Drop in the coverage. There we have that time, and that time pressure came, as you can see. So, um, you know, the pressure comes in. It's, it's one of those things that if, if they don't recognize what, what they're seeing, they're going to get completely burnt by it. But um, your job is to be able to pick up on tendencies, correct? That's your job. Your responsibility is to pick on your opponent's tendencies. And if you see this blitz coming and you see something that's, like that looks similar to this, you know, be prepared that pressure's probably coming from the right side. If you just slide protect right, or even slide protect right, block your halfback, that pressure's not coming in. So as you can see, you know, make a read, make a read, and coverage breaks down. Even though we got good coverage, I was able to make a read complete it. So all I did was slide protect right, and I'm able to pick up that pressure. Um, you know, another way you can do it is just block the halfback. So we'll set it up again. 
So keep in mind that yes, this is a great play, um, great blitz with some great pressure, but uh, you know you can pick it up. Uh, we'll show you it again. Block McFadden this time, and this time McFadden, he'll stay in. He'll pick up that blitzer. Uh, you know, coverage is still dynamic behind it, so keep that in mind. But um, the point is, we were able to pick up the pressure, and and that's something I do want to stress is that you know, yes, we're showing you a great blitz, but don't be a robot. Understand that what we're doing, it it can be stopped. It can be all picked up. Um, you know, keep in mind too, you can run it from the left side if you like. So it's a situation where if you want to run it from here, uh, go ahead. It's it's definitely a possibility. Here you have it again. Pressure. Sometimes we don't always pick this. The the left side is is a little bit less forgiving as well from picking the pressure up. Um, get on route. So here you have it. So as you can see, the tackle recovers a little bit better on on the left side. Um, some of the other things that you can tweak with. I mean, I'm just thinking this right on the fly right now. So set the same play up, right? I would maybe contain Seymour, contain Moss. Now put Moss over here. Now, what I'm thinking is we lose a spy, but I'm thinking that by the contain right and the contain left, we're really going to screw up um, the whole right side of the line here. They're really going to be just out of whack, trying to sneak that pressure in off the right side. No, see, it didn't work, but we still got good pressure. But, you know, these are just little things that you can try and work. Um, you know, we... we Lay the groundwork for you, the, the foundation. I mean, maybe run it from zone. I mean, I don't know. Run it from zone. See if you can get the same look from zone. I'm sure you can. Uh, here you have it. Groves. Off the edge here. Use a route. You have a nice cover three behind you. Pressure should come off the right. Yep. You can get. To, you can sneak the pressure in. Give him a zone look. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can do with this. You can mix that in. Um, you know, one thing that I would... I would pay particular attention to is the fact that if you're running this blitz, they might not be ready for this right here. They might not just be ready for this right here. You know, the overload. You know, so they're they're expecting that. They just, you know, they think, okay, well, I'll just slide protect left, slide protect right. Oops. So I'll slide protect right, and I'll be able to pick up the pressure that they're sending, right? Well, now when you send all, all six of those guys, well, now you're going to get pressure coming in untouched because uh, you're sending six. They're only blocking five. So um, different things to tweak, and, and uh, you know, we got to say thank you to Tyler. Thanks for coming to the tournament. Thanks for sharing your uh, dynamic defense that brought you all the way to the game before the championship game where he lost to uh, Big Slow for the Madden Bible tournament where Big Slow ultimately lost to T. Davis. Uh, but we do appreciate it. Show number 85, guys. It is not your den. It is not my den, but it is the Mad Den, a.k.a. The Laser Show, the Internet's most passionate show about John Madden football, 2011. You and me together, guys. We're changing the Madden community one snap at a time.